Then we have DeFi coming, it's decentralized finance. Um, most finance is centralized right now, and the whole blockchain idea is to have everything decentralized, so there are no middlemen. Uh, the idea is that the blockchain handles all of that for you, which is a great idea, great concept. Now people are working on decentralized exchanges where there's no like middlemen. Um, it's, it's still early for those projects, but we have some like Uniswap is one of them, and there are others being developed, but the space is coming. There will be a lot of these projects really, really soon. So keep your eyes open, guys. I'm sure that you will hear about them in the news and online, definitely, like if you join Twitter, there's so many people talking about this space, just follow a few groups or follow the, a few of these coins or industry leaders as they call them, and you'll learn a lot from that. Like, as I said, I'm not a financial advisor. I really do think that finances are an essential part for everyone. Uh, most people are struggling with finances, first because they're not educated enough, then they're kind of keeping it to themselves, so they're not open enough about their finances. Um, third, they're not surrounding themselves with people that are educated about money and they want to talk about it, so they're not getting tips and ideas from other people and concepts on how they've done it. And fourth thing, they're not doing anything about their financial situation. They just go to their jobs and get the paycheck and that's it. They try to pay their bills and that's basically it. Um, I feel that we'll have to get a lot more nimble with our finances and um, it's it's easily possible that in the next one or two years your old bank will call you and be like hey we have this option of buying assets cryptocurrencies nfts on this wallet um try it download it if you want and then in five years you'll be like we'll completely switching to wallets and you have your local bank using a cryptocurrency wallet and you're paying with cryptocurrencies in the next five years so you're definitely if not today you will have to learn about money in the future because uh, the rate of change will kind of force you to it. So if you're trying to avoid it, sticking to cash is an option, but how long can you do it? And can you use cash for everything? Probably not. Especially when you look into uh, account what um, happened in the last few years where all the online shopping just exploded. Everybody started buying everything online because they were in lockdowns at home. So that's kind of the direction where we're going. Um, everything's going more and more digital. Finance is going into the direction of cryptocurrencies. A lot of big institutions, a lot of big companies are going there. Guys, educate yourselves. Listen to podcasts like this where people are talking about it. I'm sure that you'll learn a lot. Um, definitely leave me a comment on what you would maybe like to hear more about in the next episode on um, blockchain and cryptocurrencies. I know I just scratched the surface here and this is just like an overview intro episode, but I'm. Um, this is the second one and I really wanted to talk about blockchain because I think... Um, this is a big year for me, and I think this will be a big year for a lot of people. Um, if we are late, um, I don't think we are. You might look at it from the perspective like, oh, I missed a lot of investment opportunities. Yeah, but there are a lot of investment opportunities still to come. So you still haven't lost all your chances. You still have a lot of opportunities to go, especially if you really get into the area and really kind of make it your career or direction where you want to work at. I'm definitely going in that direction. I definitely want to want to be more in that space, learn more and help people establish their, not just portfolios, but implement blockchain into their businesses and kind of help them with business decisions around that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the direction where all of this is going. I hope I enlightened you a little bit with this information about blockchain and Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies and where this project is going and everything that's going on in the world. Um, it's a big topic. It's hard to squeeze it into one hour like this um, video, but I try to go through all the points that I had for today. And this is definitely not the last conversation that we're going to have about blockchain. So definitely stick around, guys. Leave me a comment how you like this. Uh, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn uh, if you have more in detailed questions. And of course, subscribe to the Uncle Gold podcast channel. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip.